thing about corn is it has kind of sucked us in to, to its own seductive powers and now we can't get away from it. This camera that I use is a camera that takes only a single column of pixels at any one time. In normal photography, still images are clear and moving images are blurred. With my camera, it's just the opposite. Moving images are clear and still things are blurred. So I wanted to take the corn and I wanted to unwrap the kernels. What I was trying to achieve was an image that was, in fact, a grid, a very postmodern image, if you will, almost an abstract image. I was given the freedom to, to choose any site on the land and to really to do anything that I wanted to about the land. My work is a lot, a lot of it is, is about time. So I wanted to do something that linked the existing buildings and the existing land with past cultures. When I saw this building that they called the corn crib, it really piqued my curiosity and it was a perfect little encapsulated building. In this little building, there is no electricity. It's really out in the middle of nowhere. So I came up with the idea of doing panels of images that were lit from behind and lit with LEDs. LED panels are extremely energy conserving. And so I can recharge these with solar panels during the day. It's going to be tough. It's really wedged in there now. Okay, now let's see what we got. I like the idea of the fact that the building itself was going to protect my work, my fragile photography, and the work itself was going to protect the walls. Close the door for a second. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be good. <laughs> These panels are, in a way, like stained glass windows, letting the light in and telling a story of corn. It would have been a completely different exhibit if this were in a gallery somewhere and we were only pointing to the land and saying, yeah, it's out there someplace. No, you have to come out here and you have to experience the land and you have to walk into this building and see these glowing panels. <laughs> 